world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, this is Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty neat here. It's a 1968 Impala. Very, very nice car. Very, very original. I actually found this car. A friend of mine actually uh, helped me find it, but uh, found it in a garage. And the whole thing was covered with household goods. I mean, over the, the whole top. And I couldn't even see it when I, when I looked at it. The only part I could see was pretty much down here and the windows and a part of the wheels, but the whole top was covered, so I bought it, took my chance, chances, and I, I didn't know if the roof was caved in or, or not, but very, very original car, and uh, we did do some upgrading and, and stuff to it, but a uh, lady bought it new at uh, Stoddard uh, Chevrolet in Albany, uh, Oregon here, and uh, brought it home, probably about 20 miles away there in state in Oregon, and you know, stayed there ever since. She, uh, her husband actually ended up acquiring it and um, after she had passed away. And uh, so it's just, it's pretty much a one owner car in general. And uh, so it was time to, to let it go. So I just wanna walk you around it and uh, we'll show you different things. It's a 307 V8. And uh, we'll just start here in the front. The car is not perfect. You know, it's got scratches and chips and all that kind of stuff, but there is no paint touch up or anything on it. And uh, so we'll go ahead and turn the, the marker lights on. You see the markers, headlights, bright lights. All that's working. And uh, turn the turn signals. Got your left. And we got the right. And it's pretty cool, these license plates the car really hadn't been on the road since uh, 98 and uh, we got it you know running and stuff but those are the original plates on it that were uh, given to it in 1968 here in Oregon you can see the bumper is really really nice and uh, in good shape you can see the paint flaking off down there on the bottom and just look across the grill here again it looks looks in good shape it's funny when I, I bought it this em emblem here was actually upside down and I think they put it on upside down at the factory and uh, so we flipped it up and put it the right the right way you know the holes worked and everything and uh, it was just kind of funny so we'll look at the hood here you know again there's no paint work the paint is just it's gone on the car obviously but you can see the discoloration right here on the roof I mean on the hood they had put something on there and it was all gooey and stuff so I had to actually wet sand it off and uh, there's just no way to do it you can see just the discoloration happen and I don't think the car is gonna wax and it's called ash gold um, but uh, the paint you know it's just old and but it's it's cool because this is like a true survivor you can see here it was parked in the garage someone on the other you know when they open the door they would uh, make little chips in the paint and uh, you can see here the wheels I actually have the original hubcaps that come with it but these are 68 the original ones actually filled the, the whole uh, wheel and I didn't like the way that looked and I just happened to have these 68 caps here so I wanted to show that wheel and so you get the, uh, the original hubcaps with it as well but you can see the bright work and everything is actually in fairly good shape you know it's an Impala custom and uh, but there's absolutely no paintwork on this car it's, it's actually pretty amazing you look at the gaps very very nice you can see some chipping here on the paint and the car is not rusty you know very very clean we actually took the windshield out of it and the rear window they were leaking and then uh, I had a glass guy reseal seal it all you can see a little tiny uh, crease right there, you know some other uh, little chips and, and different things and you can look at the bottom of the fenders and the doors again very very clean 
Actually, if you look really close, they did try to touch that up. I thought those were chips, but they touched it up with the wrong color paint a long time ago, but um, I always thought those were little chips. But uh, you look here at uh, the bottom of the, the uh, quarter, very, very nice. And we'll put it on my lift so you can see it. You can see the gutters. They're very, very nice. You know, there's no rust inside here. You can see the roof. It's not all dented up or anything. And uh, very, very clean. Look here around the wheel lips. Little tiny ding. And uh, behind the wheel. Again, really excellent. And uh, we did put new tires on it. Went through the brakes. And uh, serviced the transmission. And uh, rear end. And, uh, but, you know, getting really, really clean, clean old car. I mean, they're only original one time. So I think the things that we did to it to make it usable, again, really helpful. And uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, flip it around here and show you the other side. Okay, here we are on the driver's side and uh, just wanted to turn it around so the light was a little better on this side. So go ahead and turn the tail lights on. See the lights are working there. And uh, brake lights. We got the reverse lights are working. They got blinkers. Got your left. We got our right. And I believe that the license plate light is working. Yeah, you just see it right there. And uh, again, those are the original plates on the car. But uh, we'll just walk around the back here. You know, again, here was another spill something that was sitting on the car and uh i mean they had everything on here peanuts and uh pop and clothes <laughs> when you see the picture in the auction you'll laugh and uh you know true garage find and uh, basically a shelf to everything in the garage you know when you look down the sides you know very very straight and uh, it does have a few little uh you know dings and the worst thing is this little crease right here and uh, I think this one here is just factory body line we'll look at the other side real fast but that little crease right there you can look here on this side you can see that's the factory body line on the other side but you know you look down the side on here very very nice and uh, again you're gonna see a lot of chipping a lot of dry paint and uh, very good shape you know, no rust on the bottom of the quarters. Wheel lips look really, really good. And, uh, but just tons of little chips. And you can see here, they had actually put a lot of caulk. It's not rust, that's actually a, an old glue caulking. All the way around the window, they had a bunch of silicone on it, so, and it was leaking. And uh, so we took it out and, uh, and uh, had, had them reseal it. And uh, so, now it stays pretty dry inside, but it wasn't getting really that wet. I mean, I think I've been in the garage for a long time too, and uh, but I just didn't like it. You can see here the bottom of the rocker. Again, really, really good shape, and uh, you can see some more chipping, scratching, you know, factory belt line molding, and uh, you can see here the marker lights are working. You know that bumper I didn't say anything about it it's actually in pretty nice shape overall we'll go ahead and look at the the roof over here you know real good shape you can see inside the gutters you know very very clean and uh, go ahead and look over the top of the hood and the fenders you can see the marker light and uh, hopefully that gives you a good idea of the way the paint is and uh, I mean, it's a, it's a treat to look at for sure. You can see a couple little dings right there, but uh, you know, it's only original one time. And so I hope, you know, you could paint it, but I'd kind of like to keep it like this. And, uh, and it doesn't hurt it if, you know, you get a scratch on it or a ding. So anyways, we'll show you some more stuff. Okay, just wanted to show you the interior, the uh, door locks and everything. Uh, work and uh, I just wanted to show you inside uh, You know pretty clean and you can look here at the back seat you can Look here at the front seat um, when I got it the uh, 
interior was actually in pretty good condition but the seat was pretty bad and uh, I didn't like the the way it was was looking so I actually had uh, NOS material from uh, SMS and we did all the all the seats and you know it's just a perfect match to the rear one and uh, looks really good there's a little bit of staining on the back one you can actually they have some more material if you wanted to do it but I would just leave that as original as you can the only thing I didn't replace on the seat is actually the um, sorry about that is this piece here and uh, that was original so I left that and uh, but the rest of the materials is all new but uh, factory you can see it's got the the original uh, belts and even the little little sticker is still on them and uh, a lot of times those fall off we'll look across the dash there is some cracking there's a little crack there and uh, you can see the steering wheels got a crack a couple little cracks and Paula you know so it is the original steering wheel and uh, I think I showed you uh, in the cold start um, that uh, all the gauges and stuff um, just general things and I also put new carpet in it as well and uh, and new floor mats but uh, you can see here inside the jams really really nice condition and uh, no accidents or anything you look at the door panels they look really really good some discoloration on the bottom of the carpet there and uh, you can see the rubber gasket it's got a few little splits and uh, it could probably use uh, new felts they don't look horrible but they're not good either and uh, but you can see here on the end of the door and we'll take pictures underneath here you know again very very clean and uh, we'll go ahead and show you the windows rolling up you know, they actually roll up real nice Hopefully you can see that. And the quarter window. It works. And uh, I'll go ahead and roll my side up. You can see this felt right there is uh, is cracked and it actually has a little glue on it. And uh, this window felt here looks good. You can see the quarter window. It rolls up good too. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you the other side of the interior. Okay, here we are on the uh, passenger side, and uh, again, I'm just going to show you a few things. Here you can see the door panel looks great, and uh, you know the end of the doors, the jam looks very, very, very nice. And uh, you know, you see all the just how clean that is. It's kind of interesting because the paint is ash gold, but it's actually very, very green, and uh, that's just the way they. I would have thought they would have called it ash green or something, but uh, they didn't. So the seat looks great, like I said before. And uh, you can look up here at the headliner. Looks in good shape. You can see the dome light is uh, working. Old school mirror. I just went ahead and left that. And uh, you can see a little bit of staining right here on the edge. And uh, on the headliner, just from its age. I don't think it's gotten wet up there because the gutters are really, really nice. And uh, when the windows were were leaking, um, it was mostly over there on this side. You can see a little water damage uh, there, but not much. I mean, it was pretty minimal. You can see here the that package tray is uh, coming apart right there. But overall, I mean, the thing really is in good shape. And... Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look underneath the hood. You reach underneath there, you can just pull it up here. The engine compartment's actually in really nice shape. You know, pretty original. I can see somewhere there has been some touch up. Uh, very original in here actually. And uh, you can see the 307 turbo fire uh, air cleaner and you know it's pretty amazing like a lot of times these little heat shields down here end up missing when motors are taken out and uh, especially this little little down tube so it's actually really nice and uh, 
that all that stuff's there, especially like this heat, heat shield. And uh, we did put a master cylinder on it. You can see here that the uh, body tag is still there. GG is the paint, ash gold. Trim is uh, 833. And you can see here the VIN number ends in 918. And uh, down here on the engine, on the stamp pad, you hear people talk about stamp pads. Chevrolet, put a little stamp here. You can actually see the VIN number uh, there as well. So um, overall, I mean, it's it's nice. You look inside, you look inside the wheel wells and stuff, and it looks really clean, no accidents or anything like that, and uh, really nice. You can see it's got power steering down there and the alternator. Go ahead and start it up. We'll uh, let you hear it run. You know, it actually runs really nice and starts starts nice. Very smooth. Go ahead and uh, rev it up a little bit. We did uh, put motor mounts uh, on it all the way around there on both sides and uh, service the engine in general. And but uh, overall, you know, it's just a clean little running running car. So we'll show you some more stuff. Gonna show you inside the trunk. And actually, these are the original keys. You can see the GM on it and uh the trunk's actually pretty nice it needs a trunk liner and uh you can see original spare but it's not rusty in here it looks actually really good you can see here you know the things in original paint but i just wanted to show you back behind the tail lights and the the butt ends that it hasn't been hit or anything like that and uh you can see back here again very 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 clean on the back side of the tail light panel it looks good you can see all the the channels and stuff you know look look in nice shape and uh you know no no issues you know could probably use a new gasket a few little cuts you can see here the original jack instructions and uh this is another spot to look on cars like this it's not uh rusty uh, along the bottom there and part of that reason is because some of the, the drains have uh, been free. So sometimes when these get clogged up. And actually, what I just noticed there is a little wire. And uh, I think there's supposed to be a light in here in the trunk. Hopefully you can see inside there. Actually, I see the, the socket. I'm going to put a light bulb in there and uh, see if it works. So... Hey, I just wanted to do a little cold, cold start. We got it sitting here in the in the shop, but just wanted to get behind the wheel, show you a few of the just stuff on the dash and stuff. But um, just wanted to do a little cold start here uh, for you and just show you different things about it. So, anyways, I'm gonna hit the gas a couple times. Hear that? That's telling you that the key is in the ignition. So that's kind of cool that 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 works. You can actually hear the, the fan working for the heater right now and you can see here the generator and the oil light are on which is common when you first start it because it's it's letting you know that those are working and as soon as we start it it should uh, those should turn off I'll hit it a couple more so that's a cold start and uh, you can hear it running a little bit a little bit cold obviously but um, other things that I've noticed that don't work in here is the radio isn't working. We already heard the fan, and uh, you can see the horn works. Oh, no, I thought there was another button down there. It's got two buttons, and uh, you can see the indicator. You can see it moves, and uh, obviously we're not seeing the speedometer working, but that, that works. You can see the blinker light working on both sides the brake light on the dash works as well and uh, turned it off and uh, you can see the wipers they work as well and uh, the gas gauge is stuck on super full and uh, but I'm not sure what's wrong with that but and then also the, uh, the cigarette lighter right there isn't working and it is a non-smoker and uh, you know it's just pretty 
pretty nice and clean. So we'll uh, show you some other stuff on it and uh, we'll put it on my lift and drive it around. Actually, I lied. That works. Yeah, here we are. We're going to take a look underneath the Impala. You know, it's really, really clean underneath there. As you already know, we're actually doing a lot of videos underneath the cars now. So you can see uh, different components and, you know, just the structure of it in general. You know, cars can look really nice on the outside, and uh, but uh, it's one underneath what counts, especially on a car like this and in the age. I mean, this is a survivor car and really in amazing condition. So we'll just start here uh, from the front and work our way back and uh, you're still going to see the still photos and everything but this thing is extremely clean underneath here and you know we did certain work to it and and different things so <clears throat> we'll uh, walk around here and you can see here I put new uh, shocks in it and uh, all the way around the car and the brakes are in good shape we'll take the hubs off so you can see them and everything and uh, I haven't seen any major oil leaks or anything uh, we did a lot of service work to it in general, but uh, you know, just want to look at the frame here. Everything looks real good. You know, the bushings, stuff like here on the uh, torsion bars, you can see little cracks. And uh, but you know, nothing real major. You can see up here, no accident damage, which is no surprise because it's original paint on the car. You can look up here behind the headlight area you know getting very clean and uh, the transmission we service put a new gasket <clears throat> you can see the date hit my head there a minute ago you can see the date there I did that 218 and uh, you can see the original tag that's a turbo uh, 400 and you know tranny seems a good good shape but we put a new gasket and, and filter on it so um, the engine we didn't do a whole lot to and uh, you can see some little seepage in areas, but, you know, nothing major. We did change the oil and uh, stuff in it. But, you know, here, you can look at the floors. Really, really nice and uh, in very good shape. I mean, that's exactly the way you want to see it. And uh, the frame looks excellent. You can see underneath the rockers. Very, very nice. You know, you can see all the drain holes, you know, aren't clogged right here and that saves a lot of cars uh, from rust and we'll go ahead and look at the driver's side floor again excellent no repairs or anything frame looks really good let's see here in the back floor you know again really nice I mean for a survivor car pretty amazing you see here the drain there's a little cobweb I didn't get you know again they're they're saved so the rockers are in really good condition and uh, looks good. We'll go back here. We did service the rear end as well. You know, took off the housing, and I think we got pictures of that uh, too. And I just put 218, so the next person knows. And I put a new gasket, new gear oil. You can see here the new shocks. You know, everything looks looks in nice shape. Brakes are in good shape as well, and. Uh, you know, this car is ready to drive. You can see here the trunk drop-offs look really, really good. You can see up inside the wheel well here. You know, looks really clean. You can see a little bit of maybe some undercoating came off right there, but that's just a little surface rust, nothing big. And the bottom of the quarters look good. You can see the original spot welds going here, and. Uh, you know, really an amazing car in general. You know, not perfect by any means, but, you know, it's hard to find a car like this. Uh, it's, you know, it's a 1968. I think that's 50 years. And you can see here the trunk drop-off's nice. And the original spot welds, again, down here on the bottom. You can see the tail light, or the balance underneath is in good shape as well. So hopefully that uh, gives you just a good idea the way the car looks you know up here on the lift and you can just see the condition of it in general and uh, you know if you got questions or anything just give me a call and uh, I'd be lo love to answer anything and if you want to 
you know, make comments and stuff and ask questions there. But anyways, I hope that helps, and uh, happy bidding.